Performance measurement is a key management tool used in many organisations. I'm joined today by Professor Mike Bourne, who's an expert in this area. Mike, people often ask, where do I start with a balanced scorecard or my performance measurement system? How do you respond to that? It's an interesting question because it's a question that people ask me a lot. Start wherever it is most natural for you to do so. Organisations these days are into divisions and corporate structures and often people say, well, do we start right at the top? Do we start at the divisional level? Do we start at the business unit level? And in fact, it doesn't matter. The real issue is whether the level above you gets in the way of doing what you want. If you've got your own discretion and control, you can start at your level in the business and then fit in with whatever comes down from above. But if the level above has got a particular initiative that's coming along and you're in the middle of it, that is the most dangerous point. So you've got to get this timing right between what's happening at each level of the organisation. So how would you handle then a situation where uh, an initiative is started at the business unit level but an initiative at corporate head office is then instigated as well? Is there a conflict there? It depends exactly on the timing. The way I actually go about designing and implementing performance measurement systems is to get the team together and actually create one for themselves around what the strategy is and how they're going to implement it in their part of the business. And that is a very personal thing to the team involved. If the initiative comes in the middle of that, that is the biggest cause of performance measurement or balance scorecard failure because it disrupts that initiative. If, on the other hand, the team have got through that and actually have the bones of what uh, they're going to use into the future, a corporate initiative can actually benefit from that initiative because what happens is the goals come down for corporate and everybody goes, OK, we can see those goals now. We can actually fit them into what we're doing in the organisation. Just a quick story. Many years ago, I worked for, in the airline catering industry, uh, and we had kitchens at Gatwick and Heathrow. And our head office was in Washington, and one bright sunny morning, they sent us a performance measurement system they wanted us to implement. And at Heathrow, they picked up the measures and just put them in. And at Gatwick, uh, I remember sitting around the table with the team, and there they said, nobody in Washington knows how to run a kitchen. And we went off and did three half-day workshops, and we created our own performance measurement system surprisingly was that it was absolutely identical in all but one aspect to what had come down from head office. But the fact we'd actually gone through it ourselves made us own that performance measurement system. And when it was implemented in Gatwick, it was a lot more successful and a lot more useful and a lot more owned by the local management. And that's what you want in performance measurement and performance management. Mike, thank you. Some useful pointers there for anybody implementing performance management.